father, cruel, and stepmother false, foolish suitor to a wedded lady, has her husband banished. Oh, that husband. Imogen, a uh, gentleman of the city comes from Leo with letters. The worthy Leonidas is in safety and greets his wife dearly. Oh, thanks, sir. Oh, you're kindly welcome. He is one of the noblest note to whose kindnesses I am most infinitely tied. Leo. <laughs> So far I read aloud, but even the very middle of my heart is warmed by the rest. Ah, thanks, thankfully. Thanks, fairest lady. Are you well? Well, madam. Beseech you, sir, leave us. I was going, sir. Continues well, my Leo. Is help beseech you? Is he disposed to mirth? Oh, I hope he is. Exceeding pleasant. He is called the City Reveler. When he was here, he did incline to sadness. And oftentimes not knowing why. I never saw him sad. There is one man, his companion, who much loves a girl at home. The jolly fellow, your husband, I mean, Laughs from his free lungs, cries, Oh, can my sides hold to think that man who knows by history, report, or his own proof what woman is, yea, which he cannot choose but must be, will his free hours waste for a little ring? Look for my husband, say so. I know. But some men are much to blame. Not he. I, I hope. Not he. But yet heaven's bounty towards him might be used more thankfully. I am bound to pity too. What do you pity, sir? Two creatures heartily. Am I one, sir? Why do you pity me? That others do. <laughs> I was about to say, enjoy your. But it's not mine to speak on it. No, you do seem to know something of me or, or what concerns me. Discover to me what you both start and stop. Had I this cheek to bathe my lips upon this hand, whose touch, whose every touch would force the feeler's soul to the oath of loyalty, should I? Damn it then, slaver with lips, join grips with hands made hard by hourly force. Leo, I fear, has forgot his wife. And himself. Let me hear no more. Oh, gentle lady, your cause does strike my heart with pity that doth make me sick. A lady so virtuous to be thrown away for women hired with that same money which your own coffers yield. Be revenged. How should I be revenged? If this be true, if this be true, how should I be revenged? Revenge it. I dedicate myself to your sweet pleasure. Let me my service tender on your lips. Away! I do condemn my ears to have so long attended you. If you were honorable, you would have told this tale for virtue, not for such an end you seek as, as sick, as strange. <laughs> oh, happy Leonidas, blessed live you long, a lady to the most virtuous sir that ever country called his. Give me your pardon. I have only spoke this to know if your marriage vows were deeply rooted. You make amends. Be not angry, most mighty Imogen, that I adventure to try your taking a false report. The love I bear your Leo made me detest you thus. Forgive me. All's well, sir.
humble thanks, lady. I almost forgot to entreat your grace, but in a small request. And yet a moment, too, for it concerns your husband. Pray, what is it? Some dozen of us and your husband have mingled sums to buy presents for your father. I need them in safe stowage. Will it please you to take them in protection? Willingly. And pawn my honor for their safety. Since my Leo has interest in them. I will keep them in my bedroom. They're in a trunk. I'll send them to you. Only for this night, I must travel tomorrow. I must, madam, if it please you to greet your Leo in writing, do it tonight. I will write. Send your trunk to me. It shall safely be kept and truly yield to you. You're very welcome.